hey great people you welcome to my youtube channel it's great to have you all here if you are new here you welcome please kindly subscribe to my channel if you're old member here too you welcome once again and it's good to have you here again so please let's start with today's video in this particular tutorial video i'm going to take you through how to design a beautiful wood flyer chicken flyer you see very beautiful and nice and eye catchy so i'm going to take you through step by step on how i came out with this particular design so please kindly stay with me watch the tutorial to the end and you are going to learn a lot you are going to know the secrets and everything right so with this being said let's start with our design let me start with a fresh page i'll get rid of the design and show you how i came up with the design so let's start with a fresh page i will lose this design right i've saved it already in the project so, so it's in my project as you can see so it's not lost completely right so i would delay this particular test here then come to here and choose a background right i have told you that anytime you want a background just come here and come if your the background is in your image tap on from image is from you want a color background you tap on color but then i want my background is in my gallery so i'll go to from gallery and choose this particular background i'll just the it is already in the square size so if it's not in the size i have to choose the size you want but then our design i want size will be in the square size and it's already in the square size so no problem with it when you have choose this like this i want to edit the background a bit i want to reduce the hue and the brightness of it so i'll come to here you see this last tool here you tap on it like this and when you come here you can see brightness contrast hue and saturation if you want there are many tools here if you want these tools will help you to get the best out of your background to help you get the effects you want so i'm going to work on the hue so i'll tap on hue and reduce the hue to minus 14 like this and i'll come to brightness so and reduce the brightness to minus four so you can see that the background has been changed a bit the hue of it and the brightness of it has been reduced a bit as you can see i like this effect so i'll go ahead and come to this middle tool here i'm not done with the background i have to add another background image to it so that i get the actual background or the effect i want so i'll come to the middle tool here i have a background in my gallery so i go to import so this is the background right i'm working on my my, my background with the blending and those stuff right so i will choose this size the square size i will choose the square size so that it will fit into the background i want so i'll tap on a check mark like this and increase the size of it tap on this edge increase the size a bit then come to relative position position it to the middle and position in the center like this once you get this let's work on this one too so i'm going to reduce the opacity of it so that you can see the underneath background the one that we chose first so um come to opacity and reduce the opacity to 65 like this so get something like this this is okay for me so i'll tap on the check mark come to this layer button then let's lock it so that it will not distract us right i like this background this is the background that i want so i'll start with the test i'll start with my test so i will start with the chicken test right the chicken as you saw uh, come to test and edit it right chicken like this right bring it here increase the size a bit then come to font i'm going to use this montserrat black italic so montserrat black italic i'll use this font then i will 
copy it. Let me no before that. Let me change the test size. Um, so let me come to size and increase the size to 101. Right, this size is okay for me. So I'll copy it and I will hide it. I'll hide this one, this one, and use this one for the meantime. Right, so I'm going to increase the stroke, give it effects, and give it shadow so that I'll get the actual effect, the test effect I want. But then let's change the color of the test first. Let's change the color of the test first. Let's change the color. I'm going to use gradient color. This is the gradient color I'm going to use. This particular color, gradient color. But then let's let me show you. I can tap on it right away like this and get it. But then let me show you how I got the gradient color. So let me tap on this plus sign here. So let me use any of the gradient colors here and tap on this plus sign here. When you tap here, the color down here his slide is here right you can change it using this slide and it and you tap on this color and the top one slide is the first one right so if you want to change the first one the top one you tap on it and you change the color right so let's change the down one face so out it's almost already selected so i'll tap on the color and come to color picker and pick the color straight away so i'm going to pick the color come to this particular one place it somewhere here place it somewhere here then all right so i'll tap on the check mark like this i'll give the resources to you check the description for it so you see this is the color for the down one tap on okay so the top one i'm going to tap on the here and change the color tap on color i'm going to pick the color again going to pick a color again so i'll choose this particular color for it bring the pointer somewhere here okay so i'll tap on the check mark like this like okay so now let's tap on okay okay and then bring it here somewhere here something like this okay tap on okay okay so i get something like this is you can't see it's clear right i'm going to increase the stroke of it so that it will be legible enough it will because the color of the test and the background is almost the same so it's bad contrast so i have to give it um stroke come to stroke enable it and let me increase the stroke to 22 to that to be both as i want and change the stroke color to white right so something like this something like this so now i'm going to rotate it rotate it so you rotate it to but then let's change the um the curve of it so come to curve come to curve and change the curve to 20 20 like this then you come to rotate rotate it to minus 10 is okay minus 10 position it here let's position in the middle then position in the set no in the middle okay something like this and bring it to the down a bit right now we are going to increase go to shadow we have started with the effect of the test right you are giving it some effect so that to suit how i want it to be so when you come to effect let's come to okay come to all right so let's reduce the blur radius a bit to seven okay let's remain everything like this then let's start with a check mark right after this then we go to the 3d test we give it some 3d test effect you enable it like this once you enable it move it the view type move it to oblique 
right move it to oblique and the depth reduce the depth to two reduce the depth to two right once you move the depth to two you come to depth color depth color is black i think so it's black right so let's come to darken when you come to darken let's darken it more to 70 somewhere 72 right and let's go to oblique the oblique angle the oblique angle let's give it 272 something like this 272 all right so i like this one so let's come to we remain the z rotation to minus 10 okay so light angle to 90 the stimulating light let's disable it right so we have something like this right after this then okay let me let me enable the disimulate light thing right so we get something like this let's tap on the check mark that's the test effect i want so you, you remember that i hide this test the other one so i will let it be visible then i'm going to make it give it transparent color give it transparent color that's this how i got the transparent color choose any color then come to the last slider here then move it to the transparent side and tap on ok so we get transparent uh, it you can't see any color here so just come to stroke and give it a stroke of two stroke of stroke width of two so that you can see it yeah and then let's come to curve bend it to 20 and let's rotate it to minus minus 10 and place it on it like this okay so let's position it like this on it okay 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 so take your time something like this okay something like this is not bad so we we are done with this particular test effect that's how i want it to be now let's write the other test that's chicken way give joy right chicken way give joy the chicken give joy so we write something like chicken way uh give give joy so once you get something like this we bring some dots here we tap on it like this let's come to the curve and this curve it to 20 as we did for the second test right and let's come to rotate and rotate it to uh, minus 10 as we did right so let's increase the size of it let's increase the size of it to somewhere like this and place it here Let, but then let's change the font of it we are going to use the Montserrat medium italic for it and place it here okay place it somewhere here okay let's position it here mm -hmm. let's position it here this is not bad right after this then we go to this middle to here and bring the um let's position this to the top a bit okay so let's position it to the top a bit okay okay something like this is not bad now let's go to the middle to here come to import and import the image we are going to use the main image as a chicken image we tap on a check mark like this let's come to the relative size to see the size we reduce the 
relative size to 70 the weight to 70 and the height to 48 and then we rotate it a bit here right so we rotate it a bit here and then let's give it a shadow at the bottom here so that it will look rare so we come to the shape come to shape and two circle and two circle then you come to when you choose circle come to opacity reduce opacity to zero come to stroke weight increase the stroke weight and then let's blur the radius to the end move it like this okay let's tap on the check mark like this increase the size then let's make it flat like this we get our shadow effects here okay so we get our shadow effect let's rotate it a bit so we get something like this that's our shadow effect to make it look rare okay so we get it like this now let's come to opacity and reduce the opacity of it a bit so 90 not bad so after this then we write something we write some test here um i wrote this so here is it makes you enjoy life small chicken money don't buy land <laughs> so you bring it to give it two lines like this reduce the size then let's come to uh font and choose this Montserrat video metallic for it right and reduce the size so we get something like this right we get something like this position it here let's position in the center okay all right so now let's go to shapes this middle tool here come to shape then we are going to work on a shape like this we'll bring it here so we come to radius come to radius and increase the radius to six percent increase the radius to six percent and the opacity let's skip the opacity and give this color to it you can you can um, pick the color from the background the background we used we can pick the color from it but then let's use it one and come to stroke stroke weight we give it one or two let's give it one let's see so we change the color to something like this tap on a check mark uh let's come okay let's come to let's edit the stroke weight let's give it two so that it can be legible enough let's lock this one lock this test right so now let's position this one to here the middle yes right so we lock it and write let's increase this one a bit okay let's position this one here okay somewhere like this this tutorial is taking to my time i have to rise a bit okay so let's write call some details yeah call telephone number okay position it here change the font we are using the monserrat medium let's use the oh, medium italic let's use the medium monserrat medium and then come to 
position position it here and change the color of it to yellow you can pick the color the yellow color you can use let's use this one but then let's reduce the size a bit yeah and then let's copy it again copy it and edit it let's write location location and bring it here okay so let's position it here make sure it's aligned with the call yeah make sure everything is aligned okay so something like this and let's write the details the call and the so write any random number this is my number telephone number so uh the is taking to my time okay okay let's copy edit it write the location Any random location right so we've done with this so let's bring some images from my gallery some pepper image like this let's crop it Crop it. See, there's some smoke here. Let's erase it. Let's erase it. You erase the shadow image. Um, the smoke there. Yeah. And then take it a bit, place it somewhere here. So you position it here, you position the image here, right? So you tap on the check mark here. Let's copy it and position other one here, somewhere here. So we are almost done. Let's bring some logo this thing for the um for the the company or the restaurant this thing but then let's bring this one first um leaves to okay bring it here Position it somewhere here. Let's copy it, bring it one here. Let's move it to the middle here, middle of the chicken, the, the two chicken tests. Okay, so somewhere here, so that you have some. You see, it's between the chicken test and the um, the transparent one with, with the stroke you see so we are almost done let's write something like so let's write let's copy this and let's write name of the so <clears throat> sorry so the brand name of the restaurant can be here should be here right so the brand name 
brand name here to reduce the size. Right, so position it somewhere here. And then come to the import, come to your gallery and bring. So we choose this particular image here as the logo. Let's use it as logo of the of the brand right so guys we are done we are done with the design so how, that's how we do it the design is quite late but i know that you have learned a lot from this particular um, tutorial right thank you for following please if you have not subscribed to the channel please help me subscribe to it and turn on the post notification bell like comment and share see you guys let's all win together